Hey guys, how's it going? Big time with Jay Custom Builds. Happy Monday, man. I hope you guys are all having a good day. It's beautiful. The weather is amazing right now. And so I had to do a little bit of running around this morning and I had to pick up uh, a part because I ordered the top. Hold on, let me show you guys. Well, you can see it right here, watch. So I ordered the top cover for this reservoir for 2010 Street Line, right? And they end up shipping me this guy right here, right? which is the one that actually is used for an older bike, like a like my 2007. Let's go over there and look. I think it's the same exact one as the one on my 2007. Let's see, guys. Same exact one, just a different uh, glass um, cover on it or a little indicator. So they end up sending me that, right? And so I'm like, oh man, you guys screwed up. So it took me a couple of days to wait for that. Then I end up contacting them I'm like, hey, I ordered for a 2010 Street Glide. What's the deal? So they end up shipping me this one, right? So mind you, I ordered this one, not Mother's Day Sunday, the Sunday before that. It was the first Sunday or, or whatever of May. And so this is, this is the correct one, right? It's longer. I end up getting this one, I think Friday or Saturday. It got held up, it was supposed to be here Thursday. Then they said Friday and it got here Saturday. So then I was kind of irritated about that. So they sent me this guy, right? Which is the correct one, but it doesn't have the seal on the bottom like that. No seal. So I didn't get a chance to go over the weekend because my wife uh, treated me to a great Saturday, early uh, birthday. And then I spent Mother's Day with my wife, my mom and my family, right? So I didn't want to work on those days. So. Anyways, I end up going to uh, Metal Dragon over here in Hayward. Jim's a great guy. And uh, I end up purchasing this guy. So, of course, no one's just going to have the, the seal for the bottom unless it's a Harley distributor. Um, some shops have them. I mean, it just depends. But I end up going to get this. So, anyways, uh, I got this finally. And it's going to go on this guy right here. So let me actually get that on the bike and we'll end up, uh, let me hook up the video and everything for you guys. All right, so I got, I got fluid in there. So let's see here, this goes this way. The taller side here, see how there's a higher side here and the lower side. The taller side always faces the outside and the smaller one faces the inside. The lower side faces the inside and the, the thicker side faces the, uh, the outside, faces the actual handle. So I'll be able to move this girl around now. And I'm hoping that, yeah, nice. Now a little bit of oil. Let me get that cleaned up. So that's why you put a rag over the tank, guys. You don't ever want that to get on your paint or anything. Let's get that all wiped up real good. And so you want to kind of wiggle your bike around and make sure that you're not getting any, any leaks on that. Check the pressure. There we go. Might have went, even went down a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is that I think it went down because there was no pressure in it and now there's pressure in it. So. Let's just take this off really quick and see what we got, guys. So that was just a quick uh, tip for you guys. If you're going to order stuff online, either Amazon or eBay, they sell a lot of the same stuff. They sell drag specialties and all these other, other items as well. Make sure that you guys are very clear on what you want. And make sure to ask questions because I always communicate with the vendors, right? And they told me, yes, that one fits. But when you're dealing with a lot of these eBay or Amazon people, the eBay people will actually email you back a little bit faster. The Amazon, not so much. 
So if you know, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit low. So let me end up putting a little bit in there. So if you know exactly what you want and what you're looking for, that's all good. But if you order something, always ask and make sure, hey, does this come with the rubber seal on the bottom? You see they'll ship it even without it. Or, hey, are you sure this one fits the actual 2010? A lot of times they'll, they'll drop ship. So they're not actually able to check. They'll say, oh, yeah, 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 that's the correct one. And a lot of times they'll exchange it because it's their screw up, right? So, you know, it's... Uh, it's a hassle sometimes when you, it is easier to go to like a Harley dealership or a store that you, in your neighborhood that they, you know, have pretty decent prices and stuff. And you can go there and buy your stuff. It's a lot easier to do that than buying stuff online and then waiting two or three days or a week. And then they send you the wrong part and then you have to send that part back. And then you, you know, they'll ship you the other part once they get the tracking number. It's just, it's just a hassle, so. It's always good to know exactly what you want and make sure you ask questions, man, so you won't have to deal with that crap. So I'm gonna fill it up to those mark lines. There's little mark indicators right here, two little flat spots. You fill it up to those little indicator marks right there, especially when the bike's leaning like it is right now, because I have these actually turned back a little bit. It's not actually level. And then you can, uh, you can get your cap, your cover back on there. So let's get this baby back on there now. And we should be good to go. Bring my hand out of the way for you. And again, you know, there's two screws on each corner, right? Two screws on opposite corners, I should say. There's only two screws, right, on the cap. So you just want to make sure that you tighten them up pretty evenly. I can see a little bit of fluid trying to ease out of the size. So I'm gonna wipe that off really quick. And just see how I'm using my fingers on the screwdriver. You don't really need to, you know, palm it and get in there like that. Finger tight is, is really all you need. So let's get this baby and get it all wiped down. Because the last thing you want is to get any uh, brake fluid on your paint, man. Because it will eat it up and you do not want that. So let's get it all wiped down really good. We'll shake it around a little bit, make sure none got down there. So you want to fill around, fill around everywhere, make sure it's dry, get in the little cracks. You really don't want this stuff on your paint. So it's got a window over here, window indicator to, to show you how much it is. The older models have it on the top, but these newer ones have it like right here in the front where the actual uh, connection is, where the brake line is in the front. That actually looks really good. Black and chrome looks great. All right, so brakes feel actually pretty good. So I'm gonna make sure I don't have anything on here, guys. I'm gonna start this girl up and possibly gonna take her for a little spin around the block. So I don't see any fluid here, any there, anywhere around. You want to check your fittings, nothing. You want to go over here, check these, nothing at all. Dry, you want to go here, you want to go here, dry you have the the one that's coming from the reservoir and then where it actually comes down here now we have a little bit of fluid right here what's the deal let me check that guys hold on so i wiped it off guys and there's absolutely nothing there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually put a little more pressure in here right because that's what you do when you're was really good. That's what you do when you're riding the bike, right? Nothing there. Let's go back down here. You know, absolutely dry. All right, absolutely dry, guys. Come over 
here to the other side. Absolutely dry, make sure there's nothing on the calipers inside that one. Okay, I'll be there in a second. And then you look up here, nothing. You come down here, right? And nothing. Okay, so we're good to go, guys. So uh, they're delivering a, a new bed and mattress to us today because the other one was uh, the wrong one. And uh, I'll be back and we're gonna take this baby for a test ride. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So hey guys, our bed came and uh, took those guys like an hour and a half to take the old one out and uh, replace place it with a new one. Anyways, that's done. Good for that. I want to thank you guys for uh, watching. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that uh, subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. That way you get notified anytime I put new content out. I don't know if you guys seen my last video, but I added Wolf to the giveaway. So now you have the option of picking same situation, nothing changes. I've just added Wolf to the giveaway. So you have the option of picking Sapphire, that beautiful blue bike back there, or you have the opportunity of winning this beautiful 2010 Street Glide. My tickets right now, my hats and my t-shirts are $125. I think that's a great deal for one of these bikes that I've literally got thousands of dollars into. They run beautiful, they look beautiful. They ride great, and I mean, the bikes speak for themselves. I don't know what else to say. You guys that are interested in a bike, go to a dealer and see how much they're gonna charge you for one of these same identical bikes. Rather than paying 15, 20, $30,000 for a bike, you know, even if you buy four or five tickets, there's only 205 entries. Your chances of winning from 205 entries are amazing. That's a great chance. So other than that, man, I wanna thank you guys for watching. I wanna thank you for subscribing to the channel. I hope you're enjoying my content. I thank you guys for tuning in. I hope that we can get this bike given away so we could deliver this girl. Other than that, you guys uh, have a great rest of your evening. Always remember to ride safe. Take care no matter what you do and God bless. Thanks for watching. So hey guys, what I did to make the giveaway more interesting is I decided to offer Wolf, that was one of the main reasons why I was trying to hurry up and complete it, is so that I can give the winner two options. You can either win this beautiful 2009 Ultra Classic, or you can win this beautiful 2010 Street Glide. The engines are strong, they run great, six speed transmission, they both got a lot of power. This actually has the integrated braking. It has ABS. I'm hoping that this interests more people as far as getting into the giveaway. And I, I want your thoughts. What are your thoughts about me adding Wolf the Street Glide to the giveaway? There's only 205 entries on these bikes and the tickets are $125. Your odds and chances of winning are incredible. And immediately after the first one goes, I'm gonna buy another bike, build it. So other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. That way you're notified anytime I uh, drop new content. You guys take care. Always remember to ride safe and God bless, man. Thanks for watching. Don't leave me here